Some people are forever rooted. Yeah, these are our friends that wear different jerseys now, but we've got the old archive pictures of them in the green and gold. And we're going to check in on, on some of our old friends, but we're actually going to begin, Stu, with Chad Pender. He's had an interesting journey since he played his last game with the A's last season. Didn't go well with the Cincinnati Reds. Nobody signed him all winter, and then a late invite to spring training. They let him go at the end of spring training. Then he signed on with the Nationals. They just released him. And now he's latched on with Atlanta, which is great to see because he's teammates once again with Sean Murphy and Matt Olson and Chi, as in Chad Pender, great teammate. I'm surprised he's been through all this and in, in latching on with somebody. I am too. Um, I, I really felt that he was a great player here um, in Oakland. I thought he did a lot for this baseball team, playing the different positions, all the outfield positions, as well as the infield positions. We did see some some slacking off in sure. his last season here for whatever that reason was, but I still thought that he would make a great major league player for a team and be a good addition to a team. And it could possibly be finding that right fit. You know, it was a great fit for him how he was used yeah. here. And maybe that's what's needed for his next employment for his next team, which is the Braves right now. Hopefully Atlanta is his final an ultimate stop this season. So his new teammate all over again, at least one of them, is Sean Murphy. What a year he's having already. Second in Major League Baseball in RBI. He's already drove in 32 runs this year, Stu. Third in OPS, and he's hitting 299 for average right now. I bet you nobody in Atlanta is calling him cakes. <laughs> <laughs> like you did when he got hit on the butt cheek in the first road trip last year in Tampa. That ball bounced off his rear end about 20 feet. Did you ever see the edit of how the ball hit him in the butt and then it went over the fence? Did you see that one? Uh, you know what? Great teammate, though. I'm not surprised. Great teammate, but more importantly, great leader. Leader behind the plate. Yeah. He's one of the best at pitch framing. He's one of the best at putting the right fingers down. Yeah. We always knew he was going to be a good offensive player. It's unfortunate that the, the Braves will now receive the benefits of the offensive player he is as well as the great defender, team leader, clubhouse guy. Just they get all the greatness. Yeah. It's the best way to well, put it. Well, I mean, his trajectory, I'm telling you, we saw good stuff in Oakland. They're seeing the start of it in Atlanta. I still think it's only the tip of the iceberg of Sean Murphy. Wait until a couple more years. I really think you're going to see an even better player. Okay, Matt Olson obviously did great things as a member of the Oakland A's. Kind of struggling this year in terms of batting average, hitting 250. He's already struck out 55 times. But third in Major League Baseball, doing what he does best, leaving the yard. You know, it seems like every time I turn the television on, <laughs> he's homering, or, or the Braves are playing, yeah. which means he's homering. So I'm getting a chance to see him play a lot. Um, he is one of my favorite individuals, Me quite too. frankly. I love yeah. him as a human being, as yep. a kid, and I couldn't have been more happier. I couldn't have been more happier for him going to the Braves and immediately receiving a long-term deal, yeah. which I tell you as a player, once I got my first long-term deal, it really helped me relax yeah. and get into the player that I was. And I think, once again, the Braves will receive the benefit of that. I was going to say the long-term deal, but also in Atlanta, you know he's from Georgia, right? So coming and staying home for Matt Olson, a lot of good things going on for him. Okay, let's go from one Matt to the other. Olson to, my goodness, Matt Chapman, you have found your bat all over again. Matt Chapman hitting right now. <clears throat> 349, he's got 17 doubles, second in Major League Baseball in RBI, third in OPS, and he was the AL Player of the Month in April for good reason. Well, you know, Hammer, he, the one year that he had the injury, the hip injury, um, even that winter, he went back, and remember he said he worked on some things. Had to change his swing and a little yet, bit. But, yeah. And he started out pretty good, yeah. but then ended up not been doing very well. So <laughs> this is the player we know he. We already we never worry about him being a defender. He's going to be a gold glove all of his career. I'm expecting him to win probably more gold gloves than Ozzie Smith. But what we were wondering about and where we thought – well, maybe he may not recover from that hip injury was with his offense. Yeah. And now he's come back to start having, and we're start of the season, but I do believe that, I mean, he's not going to hit 350 for the year, but I do believe you're going to see more signs of Matt Chapman, Oakland A's, when he first came up. Yeah. 
then you're going to see the 350. That's for sure. Or the player that was hurt with the hip injury. I yeah. think he's recovered from that. I do think that he's gotten some work done in the offseason to refine his swing. And this is the player that you're seeing. Hey, Toronto, get ready for a platinum glove coming your way. Uh, Marcus Simeon, by the way, hitting 286, 29 runs scored. And Bob Melvin's San Diego Padres, 19 and 16, third right now in the NL West. But you know their payroll. You know what they might be able to do later on this season.